Look at that cutie. That being said, people don't like watching quiet games. Huh? People don't like watching. I actually saw Nick this morning. Went to the. Is that what you were saying? That it's gotten quiet. Nick Fertucci Studio to film some else? content this quiet. morning. Yeah. I mean, it's a good, good time for a normal game, but for televised games, people don't like watching that, and it's part of the show, right? Well, that's why I keep trying to put on a show. Bring out the show. Yeah. Show them the what you. Um, show them a new show. I don't know. Something like that. Show stuff. I like when he's not putting on the show. Because I think he's an interesting person. We got Andy Stacks. We got my boy. We got the jungle. And I think kind of the forced act is a little bit much at times, but. I'm gonna fuck you up, he's a smart dude. He has some I, I, really I, cool I, insights, I, and I like yeah, actually wait, hearing this. I'm gonna fuck him up too. I'm gonna fuck him up too. Jack. But I just feel like it, I feel a little worse because I know you're on downswing. You know what I mean? This jungle man thinking about getting out of line here with just the naked ace of diamonds. He is. Big check race. Rec, I appreciate that. Andy in a precarious spot because Jimmy called next to act here when Andy see that, and then Jungle Man check raises. He knows Jungle Man's out of line, but he's got an overlay that he's beating both of these guys here in this spot. So a tricky spot for Andy to proceed. He does make a fold, and if you're wondering why he folds, the multi-way nature of this spot makes it very precarious for him. He's got to worry about Jimmy having a really strong hand when he flats next to act. No way Andy folds heads up in that spot. And now somehow Junkleman has the best hand. bet here for Jungle Man doesn't leave much behind if Jimmy does call here. So I wonder if Jungle Man's just planning to fire big here on the turn and then give up the river just because there's almost nothing behind if Jimmy calls his bet relative to the size of the pot. And Jimmy just folds. I told you. I fucking I say how it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ace-queen, ace-king, ace-king. We're going to see a big pot. Herschel already steaming a little bit. And if you're jungle man, this is a pretty easy fold. The reason why this is a pretty easy fold is because Herschel, you know, he's, 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 he's trying to lock up the win. He's not three-betting light. Dan knows that. Dan's an aware player. He's a solid player, and he cold four bets. Dan's just going to have a good hand here. See, Airball normally would get a little wiggly out of line there with that particular hand, but he's too aware. He knows what's going on. 
And if you're Jungle Man, I think Jungle just easily gets away from this with the dynamics that are going on in this game. Herschel's not going to be three betting light. And Dan is certainly not going to be cold four betting Herschel's three bet light. Right? So you put those pieces together, and Ace Queen just becomes a relatively easy fold here against these two ranges. What do I know? Jungle, would you start the hand with? Um, 165. You, you got more, both of us covered, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Personally, actually not the most enviable spot here. And Dan cold four bets, and then Jungle Man five bets. I mean, Ace King is just purely a bluff catcher at this point. And Herschel folds the Ace King. No way Dan's folding. Herschel's done. Dan going to continue in position here. 77K already in the pot. Five bet pot. Jungle open. Got three bet. Dan four bet. Cold four bet. And then Jungle went five bet. And we're going to see a flop. And this is a doozy. Top top for Jungle Man. Royal flush draw for Dan. We couldn't have asked for a more action packed flop here in a five bet pot. Going to go small here, quarter pot. If you're Dan, you're thinking about ranges here. Talking about essentially repping. Queens plus ace king. Maybe even Kings Plus. How much? Well, it looks like Dan's going to put in the raise right away. Huh? I don't know about this size. This size seems like a blunder to me. I think Dan's played solid all night. But first of all, raising on this flop, not so sure about. But if you are going to raise, this is not the size. He essentially puts in half of jungle stack which seems like an odd raise size to choose. Either click it, jam, or call. The in-between option, not really sure what this accomplishes better than one of those other options. I think that clip would become a clip. What? If Jungle Man, this looks insanely strong. It really looks like Dan has queens or tens. Or possibly just aces. You made it 80, right? 80 total. It's definitely going to get posted on okay. somewhere or I don't care about it, but it's just like insane. You know what I mean? 
unsettled. I, uh, I don't really think it's that crazy. No, the fact that I flipped it. You know what? I'm gonna make a fold I never make. You run it out of one. So Juggalwind makes a fold. I think we'll overall that's block. probably a really good fold there. I think overall in a vacuum it's a good fold. I think Dan's just going to have aces, I made a pretty queens, big fold, and tens there actually. almost all the time. That's it. The sick part was, you know what's making me sweat is because I was about to make it 75k. And then I was like, let me just see it because I think my read's what right, clean nine's good here. And then I fucking, if I make it 75, he snap folds. Yeah, why'd I do that? <laughs> <laughs> 